Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Tumblr tutorial. We've got a super patriotic design for you today. It's got a lot of steps and I'm very excited about it. So we're just going to jump right in. Remember, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Okay, let's go. We're using a 30 ounce skinny original tumbler from Craft Haven for this design. So this does have a taper at the bottom. And we're going to start by doing a little rough base coating here. We're not doing any taping or splitting or anything at this point. We're just going to go in with our spray paint. So on one side, I'm gonna paint the cup white. And then on the other side, I'm going to do a red and blue ombre. I'm gonna leave the middle part silver. So we're going to use Vivid Red and Dark Blue from Montana Colors, and then we're gonna use Flat White from Rust-Oleum. So that's what our spray painting looks like. Once it's dry, I'm gonna go in and do some taping, and we're gonna to start to glitter our cup. So I'm going to tape off about half of the cup. We're gonna do a vertical split on this design. So starting with one side where I did my painting, I'm going to start my tape there, and then as you can see, I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom and just kind of meet it around. The base coating on your red, silver, and blue section doesn't really matter because this is gonna be a peekaboo. So don't worry if your spray painting isn't perfect or if you've got some white peeking out. You can see I've got a little bit of that white paint from the other half peeking out. It's totally okay. I'm gonna use the glitter glue from Crystalac as the adhesive for my glitter, but you can use any adhesive method that you like the best. It really doesn't matter. And since we're going to do a peekaboo where the colors match the colors underneath, like the spray paint and the glitter colors are gonna be the same, I'm gonna use a darker shade of glitter so that it stands out against the spray paint. So for the navy blue, I'm using Starry Night from PDB. And then for the top on the red, I'm gonna use Matador also from PDB. And these are kind of like chunky-ish mixes. They're not super big chunkies, but they're not a fine cut either. Then for the middle, I'm using Illumination, also from PDB. This is like a white silver color, which is why we left the base silver. It really doesn't matter what the base is. And you can see I'm just going in in the middle. I don't really care if these colors blend. Again, it's gonna be a peekaboo, so don't worry about fading the colors into each other or anything like that. Then I'm gonna take the tape off and go right on to the other side, our solid white section. I'm using the glitter glue again, just making sure I don't get any of that on the side we just glittered so just paint your glitter glue on carefully and for this side we're going to use Anka which is also from PDB this is a kind of matte pearlescent glitter and we're going to do a water slide on this side so I want to keep this as plain as possible so that water slide really shines as the main star of that side once everything was dry I did spray seal it with two cloak cloats two coats of gloss clear spray from Rust-Oleum. And now I'm going in with my first coat of epoxy. I've got about 30 milliliters of Mr. Nola's Speed Dry that I'm going to apply to this cup. Just making sure I don't put too much epoxy on. You wanna use maybe for this first coat, the same amount of milliliters as ounces of your cup. So I've got a 30 ounce, I did 30 milliliters. I did another coat on top of that. That one was about maybe 15 to 20. And now I'm ready to go in and do all of my sanding on the top rim. And then we can apply our water slide to that white side. So starting with my craft knife, I'm gonna just get rid of all that epoxy up there. And then I'm gonna go in with a 60 grit sanding block to sand down my rim. And then I'll go over that with a 100 grit. Just make sure you only do the top rim at this point. You want the rest of your cup to remain shiny. So then I'm gonna tape off my white half because that's the side we're going to put the water slide on. And I'm gonna cut this image out. I got this image on Etsy. I have been so obsessed with these like fashion girl images lately. You're probably gonna see a few more designs incorporating those from me. I just, I think they're so cute. You can do so many designs with them and I just love them. So I will have that linked down below, that shop where I got this image from. It comes in all different skin tones, hair colors and everything. So you can make it look like you or your customer. I made her a blonde girl just because I'm a blonde girl. So I sealed my water slide with three coats of clear gloss spray from Rust-Oleum. And once it was dry, I stuck it in my little bowl of lukewarm-ish water. I always err on the warmer side, but not too, too hot. Once it's easily sliding off the backing, I know it's ready to be pulled out of the water and I'm going to slide it onto my cup. Make sure you keep your cup super wet during this whole process. That will help you move your water slide around really easily without cracking it or ripping it or anything like that. 
I'm also using a wet paper towel to just smooth any water bubbles out. And once the water slide is placed where I want it, I'm gonna take this silicone makeup brush here and brush out any remaining water or bubbles. And this is really what's going to help our water slide stay in place. Once we get rid of all the water underneath and around it, it's really not gonna go anywhere and it will be stuck right where it is. I usually try to let my water slides sit and dry for a few hours before I go in with epoxy. Sometimes I'll put them in front of a space heater just to help them dry out. You just wanna make sure that there's no lingering water anywhere before you go in with your next coat of epoxy. So I'm gonna add one more coat. This one's maybe about 15 milliliters. And now I'm ready to deal with the other side of our cup. So I'm gonna go in and tape everything off one more time. I'm measuring every time I split the cup to make sure that my split stays an even 50-50. And this time we are obviously taping off the white side so that we can do the design on our red, white, and blue side. I cut out some five point stars out of stencil vinyl. I cut them in a whole bunch of different sizes and I'm just gonna place them as you can see here all over my red, white, and blue section of my cup. And I'm gonna paint a spray paint ombre with the same colors, red, white, and blue, as you can see there. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna peel up all of those star stencils. A tip for when you're spray painting, I would do your red and blue sections first, and then go in with your white, and you can see the white kind of like fades over each color. That's what helps that blend really look blended. So once I had everything peeled, I went in with another coat of epoxy. This coat is probably about 15 milliliters. It doesn't need to be a thick coat. We really just wanna seal in the paint so that we can go in with our outlines for the stars. I'm using silver textured metallic vinyl from Cricut for all of my vinyl striping here. So first I'm gonna add my striping to the sides of the cup where our two designs meet up. And I cut these stripes at 0.12 inches wide, I believe. And now I'm going to go in with my outlines for my stars. Once they're all on, I'm going to go in and add a few more little just regular cutout stars using the same silver textured vinyl. I just wanted to add a little bit more to this side. So once I had all of those applied, I went in with another coat of epoxy. Again, a really thin one. We just wanna make sure the surface is smooth so we can go in and add our final decal. So this American Honey decal is from Gracefully Created. It is a white backed decal, so it's printed with UV ink, which means it will show up on any colored surface. So I cut out the square borders and I added a little edge of transfer tape, as you can see, just to one side of there so that I can place this basically using the hinge method. So I put it on my cup, measured to make sure it was truly centered, and then I pulled back the backing and now you can see I'm just gonna smooth the decal onto the cup. And with that white ink, it just pops off the backing. So if you wanted to, you could put this on like a dark navy blue base and the image would show up really well. I love these decals. So then I added my final coat of epoxy and this cup is all finished. I really, really love how this one turned out. It's really getting me in the summertime mood. Fourth of July is right around the corner, you guys. I hope you're ready. I've got a few more patriotic designs coming on the channel and I hope you're excited like I am. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials two times a week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a very fun and safe Memorial Day weekend and I will see you in my next video. Okay, love you, bye.